You! Are you going to Point Lookout? I need your help. My daughter stowed away on the Duchess Gambit a few weeks ago, and I've been worried sick ever since. I haven't heard anything from her, but if you're going there, could you look for her? Please, I'll do anything to help. Oh, bless you. Her name is Nadine, and she left a couple of weeks ago. Said she wanted to see the world. Silly little thing that she is. That Tobar said he dropped her off at Point Lookout, but who knows what's happened to her since then. I don't know if you can convince my little Nadine to come back, but just give her this note from me, would you? Only that it's where Tobar gets those punga fruits he sells off. Must be making a good profit off of them, too. I hear rumors the place is full of swamps and killer plants, but I don't know about all that. She's about your age, and when she left her hair was dyed bright orange, you shouldn't have any problem recognizing her. She told me she wanted to go find her fortune, but I thought it was too dangerous. I should have known better than to say that. The moment I told her she couldn't go, it was just a matter of time before she ran off. Please, find my daughter. Welcome, my friend. I am Tobar the Ferryman, and this fine vessel is the Duchess Gambit. We're just back from Point Lookout, but it won't be long before we set off again. Interested? You look like a man who's been around the waist, so I'll cut right to it. In Point Lookout, you'll find fresh-grown food, mysterious locales, and treasures as of yet unlooted. But keep your wits about you because you'll find more than a few exotic critters and inhospitable locals. So stay here if you're not man enough. Ah, Nadine. Sprightly little tomboy with more curiosity than common sense, that one. <laughs> Caused so much trouble on the trip that I probably would have thrown her overboard <laughs> if she hadn't reminded me of myself at her age. I haven't seen her since we hit land at Point Lookout. But knowing her, I'll bet she's gotten herself in plenty of trouble. You should have seen her back in her heyday. Why, we traveled up and down the coast from the Commonwealth to the Broken Banks. Good times, but these days she's not fit to take out to the coast. Too many spouts ready to drown her and too many critters looking for lunch. But the Point Lookout run is good enough for now. We've got a sweet deal ferrying cargo and the occasional traveler. Looking for fame and fortune? Hoping to cultivate the delicious punga fruit? Or just looking to run away from your life on these dreary shores? Once you've got a ticket, just head into the cabin and settle in on the cot. We'll be there in no time. And sorry, but I don't do group trips. If you want to see Point Lookout, you'll have to leave your friend here. Whenever you're ready, just take a rest on the cot and the...
welcome to Point Lookout, my friend. The trip was fine. The weather's nice and damp, and everything out there looks pleasant as ever. Looks like nothing's changed since my last visit, except all that smoke I saw on the way in. Oh, nothing much, just old Calvert Mansion. Just a huge abandoned estate teeming with who knows what opportunities for profitable scavenging. You know, nothing much. I know I said Point Lookout was perfect for treasure hunters, but it's a rare day when you get a beacon like that. Happy to oblige. Depends what you're looking for. If you need supplies, head to the shop over at the end of these docks. Convenient, and I get caps for referring you. If you need a place to stay, there's an old motel further into town. The beds there are still pretty soft, even if it's because they're full of lice. And if you're looking for some hunting, there's a fellow named Plick who runs a club out in the northeast. Strictly for high rollers, though. Good travels to you.
along, please. Well, hello there, young traveler. The fates had told me that I would receive a visitor today. But I'm being rude. I am Madame Panada, and this is Madame Panada's House of Wares. For all things a traveler needs, I am here to provide. Bullets, stim packs, armor, weapons, junk. If you need it, Madame Panada has already anticipated your need and procured it months ago. And what is it you would like to purchase? Return again, young traveler.
exits off, goddammit. Find where they are coming in and stop them. I'll be keeping an eye on the cameras down here. Hurry!
feeds of Punga. Over here. Good job blocking off that hole. Hurry and get in here. Looks like they're about to breach from the east wing.
One last way for them to get in. Follow me. I think we're about to get hit hard. Yeah, here they come. Grab all the ammo and stim packs you need. This is gonna be a rough one. If you have any mines, now's the time to use them. They could come in through any of the border... The doors at any second.
More of them. On the right. First floor. My hero, think you came in and rescued me right in the nick of time? Not hardly. Had it all well in hand, and I didn't even need to use the failsafe. But that would have done a real number on some of the paintings, so just as well you were here. Anyway, name's Desmond. The type that kills everyone outside of my safe room and leaves a hell of a mess to clean up. Standard type. Not worth wasting on ignorant savages like them, honestly. Just as well you came along when you did. So, tell you what I'll do. I'll share a few tips for the next time you're making a dramatic final stand. Not a fucking clue. It'd be easy to chalk it up to their crazy religion. But if I'm right, and I always am, there's something else going on. That's the third attack in a month, so somebody's got a grudge with me. Whether it's a man or a god, I intend to set them straight. Damned if I know, it was abandoned when I got here. There's plenty hidden away here. None of it would be useful to a bunch of crazed inbreds. I've been around for a long goddamn time. The last time I knew a bird named Nadine, I still had skin. There was some girl who came nosing around here a few weeks back, but she ran off before I could introduce myself. I'm here on my own business. You wouldn't understand it even if I tried to explain it to you. I don't know why anyone would bother with this shithole. It's filled with a bunch of disgusting inbreds and half-crazed loons. I'm gonna do what I came to do, and then get the fuck out of here. They're brainless morons who worship some crazy spirit. What's to know? Now hold on there. Not so fucking fast. You can be useful to me. I need someone willing to get their hands dirty. 
So here's the deal. I help you get in with those tribals, you help me get what I want, and I'll make you fucking rich. Just try not to sprain a lobe while you're thinking about it. My time is short. You need to learn to pay attention when I speak. Those mud lovers want me dead and haven't extended the common fucking courtesy of telling me why. So, I need you to find a way into their commune and figure out what's going through their addled little heads. Be a good pup, and old Desmond will give you a treat. And of course, who knows what riches they have for you to steal. Easy peasy. Right about now, they'll be wondering what happened to their hunting party. These are people who think cutting a hole in their skull can expand their mind. They're not exactly scholars over there. Just head up to the cathedral and ask real nice. When you're in, you'll find the bastard in charge and find out what they're up to. I just need information. No need for violence. Yet. They're brainless morons. I've been around... My story? Tell you what, kid. My story's a lot like a death claw's tongue. It's long, messy, and you don't want to get too personal with it. Understand? Suffice it to say, I have business in Point Lookout. If you help, you will be repaid for your efforts. That's all you want to fucking know. Back to business. <laughs>